So I'm bored and I thought it'd be a great idea to actually get my finances straight. So I'm going to write out everything that I want my future life to look like with my career that I have. So I'm gonna put like, search up marketing director, average salary in LA, have that as my total net base salary for each year. And then each month breakdown of the things that I'm gonna be spending. So food, car payment, house payment, uh, literally what else do people pay for? Insurance? Oh yeah, well, I guess that counts as doctor stuff phone bill forgot about that okay i'm just gonna make categories and then i'll show you guys everything because you need to really if you want things to happen you need to do it you need to visualize it and just how i made my mood board right there let me show you i made that for this year um i can do a separate video like exactly what i put on there but yeah we just gotta do take charge of our life because time waits for no one also this is like just an average because there's also going to be things i would hope that would not only come from like my base salary of my work but salary from like other my hobbies i want to have hobbies that make me money as well because that's really important so i do want to get better in managing my money and i would rather start the habit now than in the future when i have an actual career that's fun and i also make this making this video because i want to see how like first of all how i can help you guys better finance and then also to track how much my money grows from where i am now till whatever it's like a little diary almost okay so i made my google docs i just titled it my life 2023 we're gonna make it look cute too because that's better to do looking for you babe searching for you babe it's been said and done every beautiful i've done too much math and i'm gonna show you i'm not done but this is my life scenario one when I'm starting out as a marketing director in LA. Um, starting at 48,000 on average, that's like the lowest too. And then, so that's about like 4K a month. So this is scenario one if I still live with my parents once I get my career for those two years or until like I save up to buy a house and be able to afford a house, which um, it's gonna take a long time, but this is just a scenario one. So I want a Doberman. And those are about like 170 a month to take care of a car. The car that I want is the Mach-E. It's going to be 584 for lease plus 120 for insurance, give or take. Food, if I'm living with my parents, it's going to be free, hopefully. I'm just hoping. The phone bill um, with the Verizon plan that we have is $35 a line. So I would just like Venmo my dad $35 each month. Clothes, I roughly a month, I would spend 150 give or take. Honestly, don't really spend that much money on clothes right now and I feel like I'd be able to not spend enough for that and then for fun I'm putting $400 because I still like to go out and eat a lot and little travel stuff so that's going to be that for a month and then my emergency for a month is going to be $773 that's if I need to pull anything for myself for my dog or my car oh my gosh I didn't even put like insurance on here for my health oh well we're gonna oh no I'm I put that as like the job that I have takes care of that and then savings, I'm going to put that much in my savings per month around that. Um, I can like do that. And then since I'm not going to be paying rent, since I'll be living at my parents' house, it's going to be zero. So that's scenario one. And that's that fits into that. But I'm going to show you the life that I want. With the life that I want, how much I would have to be making now a month. So we're going to do the math for that. Okay, this is my second scenario is what would I have to make a year to support my monthly needs? And I just like spitballed all of these. I kind of changed them, kind of kept them the same. Um, and that's that. And I in total would have to make 176000 a year or basically like 15000 per month in my career. And this is with living at a house. Um, yeah, this is with buying my own house. So I'm a homeowner and I live in LA, which I mean, I don't really know how safe the area is. I should probably check that out, but it's a nice house. The one that I like picked out just for like, just to spitball. It looks like a nice area. I would have to like actually do research, like how safe it is. But I don't think I need this big of a house. Like it's literally four bedrooms. Like I don't need, I don't, I don't know. I don't need four bedrooms. But this is just an example. Um, so yeah, 176000 a year. And then luckily, the career that I'm like working up to, 
the median, so like average price is 198,000. So way more than what I am looking for. And like the lower end is around where I kind of need it to make a year. All right, this is the third scenario. And this is what I would do when I am a CMO, with the, which is a chief marketing officer. Um, so basically, on average, CMOs make $382,000 per year with 283,000 being like the low of it and then 541,000 being the high. Again, it varies, but this is in LA and this is just like a ballpark of it. So with the life that I would want, um, I would be, I told everything up and roughly it's around 296,000 per year or $24,000 per month. So basically with the career that I have, I'd be able to live the life that I want. And I will show you a picture of the house and the car that I want and that I put on this little list. But yeah, definitely manifest your life like that by showing yourself what you need to make in order to get the life that you deserve and the life that you want. Yeah, I just wanted to make this video because I want to make more videos about money and finance and how to be better and smarter at that because I'm also learning at the same time. So it's like a learning process for both of us. And that way I could really see my growth from like now to like a few years from now or even a few months. I think also for this year, I always like say, oh, like I come up with a video idea. and I'm like, eh, no one's going to want to watch that. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to make the video anyways if I want to do it because there might be someone out there who will find help from it or whatever. From my ending quote, uh, let me figure it out. It is, that dream was planted in your head for a reason. And I probably used that quote already, but honestly, it's a good quote. Yeah, now to go to work and make some more money. Bye.